Hey guys, this is Volden, and uh, I'm going to show you guys what I've been recently doing on my server. So, I've made a little facility here. It's my nuclear reactor. Added a couple mods that allow me to uh, see uh, the nuclear reactor status as well as one of my storage units. So go up here to like the second floor. It's the nuclear reactor. Turns on. See you down here. Status on. Output 50 EU. Then I go to my third floor. And over here I have all my MFSUs. Little storage unit just in case I need to put my cooling cells and stuff in there. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how I uh, made the inside of there. So what I use mostly is reinforced stone. Now normally when you make a nuclear reactor there's always one weak spot and that weak spot is where the fiberglass comes out. Now to sort of nullify or remove this weak spot you have to use CF foam. Now to get C foam or CF foam you're going to want uh, clay Or, oh, what? Let's see. Let's change that to... Oh, my gosh. Options. It's not it. Well, you need clay. <laughs> the point is you need clay. You need to find some clay. And I think you need to put it inside of a compressor to turn it into a CF pellet. I'm not too sure. Yeah. But, um, then you're going to want sand. Sand, sand, sand. Sand. Couple pieces of it. Alright. Want to cover this up? You sand on it so that it can instantly turn into a why is this not working? Well, that thing's being a little off. There we go, being again completely weird. But let's try this way. Put the fiberglass down first. Use your CF sprayer. Add sand. There we go. Add another fiberglass cable. More CF spray. Add sand. Whoa, I almost destroyed it. Alright, there we go. Then you can get glass fiber cables and leave them out. More spray. Now you can let it dry if you want to, but uh, sand's always key to making these things harden faster. Connect any power supply MF or any uh, MFSU to the cables that you just covered with construction foam. Uh, several if you want to hold a lot more power, but 
This is basically what you're going to need. Now what you can do is connect a button to it or some a switch, a lever if you want. Lever. So it turns on. Then you're going to want to cover it with water. Don't flip that switch. Not now, anyways. Uh, actually, let's move this a little bit farther back. And you can put the switch here. There we go. Cover up this side if you want to. But yeah, you're going to want to make a 4x4 four four block. There's going to be three squares on the inside, 3x3 three three squares on the inside. Connect one block here. Get your uh, power supply out the wind or out the little hatch at the top. CF spray it, that way it'll be a lot stronger than if it was just right there. And so when it explodes, it won't be this crazy amount of damage. This should overheat it. Let's get some more uranium cells. Quad core. Go outside. Need more quad cores. Oh, and it just blew up. And as you can see, most of it is intact. The um, power cable didn't get destroyed except the one that was right below this one. So, all in all, it's pretty effective. You could, I guess, you could put this in like a room or something and just turn it on, leave it there if you just want it to blow up or something. But yeah, this is how I made mine. Uh, just messing around. Turns out it's actually pretty effective, so decided I'd share it with you guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, try to make sure you guys use reinforced items. I tried using stone. This is what happened. The explosion kind of destroyed everything around in general vicinity and blew the whole side of my facility clean off, clearly showing the iron scaffolds that I placed, which is bad. Very bad.